Hey, welcome back, folks, to Fallout 1. Got some loading going on here. Alright, let's get back in. And I think we finished off the regulators last, yep. So let's just pick right back up. Go ahead and reload weapons, because I'm really bad about that. And what do we have to do in Adderdom yet? Fix the hydroponic room. Finish that, alright. Um, I, I probably want to go talk to the leader of the, the blades or the jets or whatever their name was. Excuse me, talk me. She's in this building. I do not remember her name. It's been a little over a week since I recorded last. Let's see. Uh, thank you for all your help. We're going to invade Adidam. We can really use. I. We already did it though. Great. Let's go. Okay. Huh. Might just be one of those things that got bugged. You have to say Miles. Nice to see you, but I'm right in the middle of some research. As he looks at a pile of bloody metal armor. Cool. Smitty's doing fine, okay. Maybe I should just like wait an hour or something? Or wait a day? Let's wait a day. save before I talk to her again because I don't want to keep doing that because I feel like that can't be good for the game establish our quick save slots when you have as many variables going on as this game does. It's the same reason why I don't hold the bugs against New Vegas. Because you buy so much with that. It's very much worth it. So like... I almost forgot the map was worthless in this. Oh, this is... Children of the Cathedral, I think. Or no, this is the Followers of the Apocalypse. Let's go in here and talk to them. Maybe I should put uh, my weapon away. You're not from around here. Who are you? Name's Huge Ass. And what, may I ask, are you doing in L.A. Boneyard? Uh, you ask a lot of questions. You learn to be careful out here. So what are you doing here? I'm just an explorer. Just a traveler. I've heard that one before. Nobody comes to LA Boneyard except those hub merchants and people looking for a quick death at the hand of the hands of the gangs. What are you really for? You're right, I'm looking for a water purification chip. A water purification chip? Sorry, you don't know anything about that. Don't see much of that kind of tech here in LA Boneyard, except maybe the stuff Miles works on. Can you tell me more about the LA Boneyard then? Hang on, I gotta set my timer, guys. Otherwise we end up with hour-long episodes. Okay. 
Let's see. What can you tell me about the followers? The followers of the Apocalypse are a group of peace preachers who live in a large library near the heart of L.A. Boneyard. Why they haven't been wiped out yet, I can't say. They are lousy combatants and have no understanding of the real world, but other than that, they are polite and well-educated. Why are you here? I thought you were a follower. Greetings! Oh. Hey! We're very glad you could join us. We hope you have found our humble abode to your satisfaction. Uh, I have. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask, and I'll answer if I can. Tell me a little history behind the followers. What would you like to know? Where did the followers start? Far to the south, near the Great Glow. The times were hard, but we managed to survive. We realized then the Great War must never happen again. So you started the followers of the Apocalypse? After my parents were killed by marauders. It was time the killing stopped. It's our goal to make this land the way it used to be, before the war. I'm sorry about your parents. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, is there anything else you needed to ask me? Yes. Yes, there is. Ask, and I'll answer if I can. What do you worship? We don't worship so much as follow a set of principles. We want to bring peace back to this wasteland. The world tends toward destruction, so we try to make a difference. How? We try to remind people why the Great War happened in the first place, and help ensure it will not ever happen again. Have you been successful at all? We never give up hope. We never will, even though most live by the gun these days. And we are concerned with the children of the Cathedral. What about them? They claim to want peace like us, but anyone who disagrees with them just disappears. Their dark god is not what he seems, believe me. How do you know? Call it instinct. We've seen Morpheus and the Nightkin, and they don't look like peacemakers to us. Their hospitals and message of peace make them attractive, but we know there's evil there. Do you have any clues? A number of our spies have seen Nightkin coming in and out of the back room of the children's temple. Something important is back there. Well, I'll report back anything I hear. Good. We could use any information. Now, is there anything else you'd like to ask? Yes, ask, there is. Ask, and I'll answer if I can. We oh. wish you the best in the journeys ahead. Please feel free to use our base as much as you like. Sweet. Anybody else here have a particular description? Yep. Talk to Heather. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here to kill you. Uh, I'm just looking around. Really? And what might you be looking for? Nothing, or just information. If you need information, look to Nicole. She thinks she knows everything. Barter with me. Oh, you don't have anything. So the, there's a basement here. So maybe we should check out. Who, kn who knows? Maybe these followers are up to some shady shit. Oh, or they have a second giant library underground. Studious follower, bookshelf, studious follower. Any unique NPCs down here? Doesn't seem like it. So since I don't want to rob these guys, doesn't seem like much to do. Okay, that's the world map, world map. There's the world map up there. Alright, that might do it for uh, LA Boneyard. For now, anyway. I might run into the, um, 
the followers again. I don't think I'll have to come back here, though. I want to look at. How am I doing on drugs? Oh, I should go sell this stuff. This is so much stuff. Okay, I have a lot of drugs. Because what I want to do next is I want to go to back to the glow. Because now that we have power armor and uh, radiation isn't so much an issue, and I can definitely take on some some robots and stuff. I want to get down into the guts of that thing because there's like five floors or something and we only explore the first one uh, for the, bro the Brotherhood of Steel. So yeah, strictly optional but there is one particularly very cool encounter that I want to have. Let's talk to Gabriel. I'm just here to pick up a few things, so what do you got? Need to talk to Zack. Whoops. Hey, I'm Zack. You want to buy weapons? Okay. Let's see what you got. Nice plasma pistol. Yeah, why not? Oh my gosh, how am I gonna get a good deal? How am I on ammo for my energy weapons? Lots of microfusion cells, so let's pick up some small energy cells. Uh, let's do 80. It still barely helps me. Oh, let's take one of these. I'll keep the ripper. Somebody's got to be able to use that effectively. Take all this crap. That, don't need that. None of them's. I'll take all the cash you have. Well, I'll just stock up on ammo. There we go. Almost perfect. How am I doing on weight? I am at max capacity. Cool. Oh shit, I sold one of my sniper rifles that I use. I should buy that back. weighing me down so much. I do have a lot of ammo. A lot of ammo. And I don't actually need this. I don't really need the Geiger counter either. You see if it weighs anything. I know this is always the most riveting part of any LP. 
four pounds. Five pounds, jeez. Oh my god, I'm sitting on so much uh, 556 ammo. So much. I do not need 500 rounds. 100 will do me just fine. And in return... In return... Let's take another one of these. Good enough. Alright, now how am I doing on weight? Slightly under. Oh no. One of the moat guards went into the moat. I'm supposed to guard the moat, guys. Okay. So, can we get to the world map from the screen? I don't think so. No. I don't know if we can on this screen either. No. That's all right. We'll make our way to the exit. Oh, these guys need ammo. What are you using right now? Desert Eagle. Don't have any ammo for that. What I do have ammo for is a shotgun, though, which is what Tycho needs. We are fast approaching the time when I will leave these men behind uh, because they will be sizzled corpses. That is, we're getting close to the time when companions aren't really useful, and in fact will hold you back, or just get killed. I could not do that. I could dismiss them and stuff like that, and we could headcanon what happens to them. But I want to give you the experience of going into a random encounter and having your entire party die. At a, at a certain point in the game, that's just the point in the game that you're at. Okay. So this is the hub, right? Or is that the hub? Gosh, I don't remember. That is the hub, okay. We could sell stuff and get some skill books. Always a good use of money. But we will have to wait until morning, and then two hours. What do you have in the way of books? She got a lot of guns as well. That's probably my fault though. Alright, I sold all my stuff. You know what, I'm not in a place to use melee weapons at this point. Hang on, let's see what I actually need. So, science is pretty high. Repair is good, don't need any repair. Uh, outdoorsman, always good. And I think the other one was first aid, which, yeah, always good. So 
So everything but science. Let's sell some of this ammo as well. Or no, everything except for repair. That's what I meant. Fifty rounds is a lot. And then we can get how many of these? Maybe one more. Maybe one more. Nice. Alright. I'm gonna sit in your shop and read for a while. But this is technically a library, it's not a shop. I did some thinking in between recording sessions, and I know I talked about doing a Fallout 2 playthrough. Um, I think I've decided I'm not going to do that, uh, as it turns out. Because I was like playing through it to re-familiarize myself with it. And it is, um, it's just a very different game from Fallout 1. It's. Uh, the subject matter is a lot darker, like, the whole thing is very much about, like, slavery and drug addiction and just violence and the ways that people control each other. Um, and it's also just really culturally insensitive. It's pretty bad, some of the things in that. Which is a shame, maybe for a lot of reasons, but uh, I think Fallout 2 is a really interesting game. And it has some really cool stuff in the middle there. Um, but you have to get to it. That's an important part of the process. So yeah, I think I'm not going to do that. Um, like, I would, I would, I don't know. Yeah. I was thinking maybe I could do a sanitized version of it, but not really. Um... And there are problems with that as well, anyway. So yeah, I won't be doing that. Uh, if you want to learn about Fallout 2, there's a very good couple of episodes from a podcast called Watch Out for Fireballs, where they cover it. And uh, yeah, that was what made me try it in the first place, was listening to those guys talk about it. So I've maxed out my science score that can be achieved with books. So anything above 90 apparently you can't improve with books. But we will just read that. And it's been like a whole day. It has, it's been a full day. do I have? I should think about getting that strength upgrade from the Brotherhood. There's some good stats here. You know, what I really need from people is caps. But we will come back with plenty. Let me go to the glow. I don't think I need to leave my companions behind when I go to the glow. I don't think I, I don't think I did before. Whatever. That's why we cook save. Back to the glow. This is also why we quick save.
great animation. Love it. for you, huge ass. Alright, have that. That's all good. Onward to the glow. So I think what I'll do instead of a Fallout 2 playthrough is I will do a Fallout 3 playthrough. And that's a game I have not finished. And I've really just kind of played the beginning over and over again because I, I lose interest in the world pretty quick. But I'm hoping uh, with all of my many, many viewers at my back, that that will motivate me to finish it and try to enjoy the, the cool stuff, because I know there is fun and, and good stuff in Fallout 3, even though it is my least favorite of them. And then who knows from there. I'd love to do a Fallout uh, New Vegas playthrough. I think that would be a lot of fun. I'm really glad I didn't go with an idea that I had uh, to play Fallout New Vegas The Frontier uh, for the first time on camera because that a lot of problems with that mod that have been coming out. So I'm very glad I didn't do that. That would have been very disappointing and fucking weird. Alright, at the glow again. Okay. can immediately teleport to level 1, which is awesome. So I'm going to take my Rad Axe. And I can use my yellow key card on this door, and I think it'll work. I just totally forgot I had it in my inventory. When I was here last. Yep, there we go. Okay, there are three levels. There might be another elevator, though. Another elevator system. Alright, we got dead robots, lockers, nothing. A corpse over here that probably has some loot. And more corpses over here and a working computer. Let's type on that. Uh, primary power is offline, secondary power is online. Do I want to reinitialize re primary power? I don't know. Sure. Error. Didn't work. I need to go to generator level 6. Dead Nightkin. Interesting. Sentry robot. Is it dead or? It has a lock thing. Oh, that's a trap. Whatever. 
hit me for one point of damage. You have to do better than that. Rockets. Grenades. Oh, you know what? I think I just remembered an important way to do inventory management in this game is by pickpocketing your companions. So I will do that if I run out of space. I will just give stuff to them and then pickpocket it off of them later. Another grenade, alright. Some explosives, cool. Plasma grenade. Too bad I have absolute garbage stats for throwing things. I don't want all that if it weighs that much. Probably not worth it. Is there anything in here? Doesn't look like it. should walk into the room and then they will follow me and then I can go behind them. Tougher radiated rat. Ooh, he had a red key card. Great. guys run around like this. Yeah, they seem to be fine with the radiation, not really causing any problems for them. Oh, that's right. I always need to... I wonder if this does anything? Does this give me access to more? No, okay. So that's gonna be for a different elevator. Um, but we're gonna break there because it is time to, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.